Yeah, don't don't worry. We can just get through this. Thing. Take your time. Hi, my name is Ellie. I'm going to be producing a music video um, to the wanted chasing the sun, as I feel like this suits my narrative a lot. Are we? I'll be entering UK Film Festival on the 2nd of July, so I feel like this suited my project concept a lot better than other film festivals, and it, like the deadlines after my college ones, so I felt like that gave me enough time to like, enter, obviously. Mm -hmm. I've, over the last few years, I have learned a lot of skills and gained like knowledge on how to use Premiere Pro a lot better, as I used a different software in previous. UCC media, so that took a lot of um, challenging, I feel like, and I um, learnt a lot more skills which I can now improve and add into my work in my final major project. Mm. These are skills such as like parallel editing and colour grading which I can now add in and I'll be adding in to change the mood, so for example like at the beginning I'm going to have the backgrounds of the characters and obviously it'll be like a more like depressing storyline so I'll make it more like blue toned like create that colder look. My project concept will be a uh, producing music narrative based video because I want to get a message across to my audience and I feel like that's the best narrative along with my target audience suggesting that. Uh, target audience, everyone that did obviously like reply was more based around like 16 to 25 year olds. So I felt like this was like the strongest na uh, target audience to stick with, as that was like my most replies I had. However, I did struggle getting responses from my target audience. I felt like I didn't expand my like social media networks that I could have produced it all over. Whereas like I entered like another survey later on which I sent out to my target audience but I expanded my social networks and I got like 33 responses whereas I only got about 12 so it just depends where I don't want to see and then um, my target audience said how they preferred my storyline because I had three different ideas my first idea was to have a couple so they were they've grown up as friends and they've like suddenly like fell for each other but they've like tried to hide their like feelings under the carpet for like a long time and then the boy moves away to the coast and they like realise they want to be together and then my second idea was my like main idea that I stuck with which is the friendship idea how they like go on like a road trip but like they've all got secret like backgrounds that they don't tell each other like, they're all suffering at home sort of thing behind social media they don't tell people and then my third idea was about a dog like who runs away but it has an effect on the family but the other two ideas weren't as strong and my target audience felt like my main idea was best because everyone gets like that at times it's like relatable teenage experiences and it's something that everyone goes through yeah so i was aiming to have four characters in my production so it will start off with things like that i've researched about mental health exams, peer pressures, I feel like this is something teenagers go through a lot but don't open up because they like to think oh yeah I can handle it sort of thing and actually you should open up to people and then when they're with their friends on a day out it like completely changes them, it like takes their mind off things, it just shows how important friends are but I've actually had like a lot of problems with my characters so I asked them many weeks ago and they said yes that's fine and I also got backup actors but they've both turned around and said that they're unavailable all of a sudden so I haven't got any auditions or test shoots unfortunately so that's one of my like, major problems which I need to overcome. I have put posters up around college so hopefully I will get some responses which I'm waiting for. So obviously that's a major problem is they've now got exams. So my typical character, I wanted them to look a bit like the St. Trinian's kind of characters. So like they've got the typical geek head girl, the like edgy kind of look and like the chubby kind of stereotypical goth and things like that. And my main character I wanted to be like a tall, blonde, sophisticated like leader who has the power of the group. 
pull up, like a geeky one, not as small as bars is typical. Look. Um, yeah, so I wanted to do that, and then worst case, if I get actors that come back as boys, then I'll make change the like look of them so they're a bit more edgy, like vintage style kind of. So like boys are like completely different to how girls are dressed. Um, my location, so I want to drive, that'll be my car that I'll use. So I want to drive along to Brighton, film like the journey down to the beach. And then either Bournemouth or Brighton, I'm leaning more towards Bournemouth because I know my way around there a lot easier. I feel like places like parking and things like that are a lot easier to do. But either way, the everything that I want to use is in that same location. So it makes it a lot easier rather than having to travel a lot more. I've got like the arcade, fish and chip shop, shops, things like that, it's just all in one location. Mm. Props, so things like makeup, glasses, like make the characters like build up. Um, would, like glasses suit with like geeky character, things like that. Um, and then I also made this survey where that was off my own back and I got a lot more response with this. This is just a clip of it. So to get like my idea, improve my idea, I thought, oh yeah, I can just do a road trip. But I actually got people to respond to the things that actually make them happy and a lot of it was friends, was like the main response, family, road trips, the beach. So I like kind of combined it all into one rather than just doing like a basic road trip in a car. So I'm gonna have a linear like narrative structure, so beginning, middle and end, as I felt like that just suited my like storyline a lot better than having a non-linear. Yeah. <coughs> okay, that's good. Um, uh, thinking about the process that you're going through as you're developing the project, what plans do you have to evaluate as you're going forward? Oh. So I've been doing weekly blog each week, obviously, where I have fallen apart and a little bit, I haven't done as many as I should have, but I'm aiming to obviously catch up on that. But that is my main evaluation idea, so I can look back and show my progression. Okay. And as part of that, I mean, are you going to use self-evaluation? What, what kind of processes are you going to use? Yeah, so I'll do my self-evaluation and then obviously I'll get peer feedback and my teachers give me feedback each week, which I'll then add into my evaluations. Good. Um, <coughs> uh, when you were explaining the characters there, um, you, you explained how you're going to have like a range of different characters and different representations, so somebody who's kind of like quite... Um, Kind of outgoing and confident, and there's somebody who's maybe a bit kind of geekier and shyer. Is that going to relate in some way to your target audience, do you think? Yeah, because I feel like a lot of teenagers, there's a lot of different styles. Like, you get like the typical goth, like things like that. I feel like that fits in a lot of teenagers because everyone's different. And I want to get also the like, equality side of it. Like, everyone's the same. I might dress different, but they're all like the same. Okay, so do, do, are you sort of hoping that? people within your target audience will kind of identify more strongly with one of the characters? Yeah, obviously I have like the typical like blonde, she's my main character, she's got the power, and she's like the leader of the group. Yeah. But obviously it ends up being the boys and it'll be like a different structure. Okay. Um, and <coughs> when you were researching to things like posing conventions and music videos, did that help you develop your ideas? Yeah, so the lighting, I found a lot of videos, the lighting was quite bright and natural. And it like showed the happiness of it, whereas when it came to like more like depressing, dark, and the lighting dimmed a lot, and like you have like a lot of color grading, which is obviously so I'm like taking account in, and I'm going to like involve in my own production. And the I found like a video of Bruno Mars called Count on Me, and the um, relationship with the two kids is them growing up as friends. And it's like like a videotape sort of thing to show the progression of them growing up together. So. I'm Okay, that's good, well done, Annie.